I tear you down to build you back up. <laughs> That's right. So here we go. Election time uh, tweet. Trump's lead. This is poly market. Poly market is very, very accurate polling. What happened here? Now, this is from today. This is from September 3rd. Huh. What? I thought uh, you're telling me that the Kamala, all this Kamala Harris momentum is astroturfing? Uh, yeah, it is. What? There is no momentum. How can anybody have any momentum for that absolutely bumbling, cackling moron? She's an idiot. I'm sorry. You know what? Again, Gavin Newsom is not an idiot. He's a he's a he's a shuckster. He's a, he's an absolute uh, liar. But he's not an idiot. She's stupid. Even Waltz is not an idiot. Okay, he's an, he he is he he loves horses too much. But <laughs> but. He's not an idiot. She's an idiot. That's why they had him sitting next to her in her only interview since August 6th. Right. He had, they made sure Timmy Waltz, you know, Mr. Horse Seaman, was sitting right next to her. Her handler. Yeah, her, <laughs> yeah, her, yeah, her, her babysitter. Yeah. Trump's lead, poly market, expands the 4%. Wait a minute, the DNC, where's the DNC bump? <clears throat> there isn't any. There's the states. That's how they're laying out. Trump's up nationally. Trump's, uh, if Trump is down 2% nationally, he wins the election. He wins, he, he wins the Electoral College in a landslide if he's down 2%. He's up 4% nationally. <laughs> Go to the next one for me. Here it is. Pre this is breaking it down by state. Still on poly market, presidential forecast. This poly market. Let's go to Georgia. 58-42. <laughs> Arizona, 56-44. Wait a minute. I mean, I'm trying to remember <laughs> now. J Jake Tapper, CNN, MSNBC. Yeah. C uh, CBS, ABC, NBC, uh, the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the Chicago Sun Herald. They told me it was all momentum for Kamala. And yeah, the Trump's, blue wave. I mean, I go over to leftist Twitter with the various pundits over there, and it's all the Trump campaign's over. Huh. Kamala's got all the momentum. Trump should quit now. Well, he's up in Nevada by 51-49. Uh, Pennsylvania, 51-49. Wisconsin, Harris is up big, fifty six forty four. So you know this is a legit, a legit uh, poll to some extent. Michigan, Harrison way up. So there you go. That's that's from Poly Market. But if Trump wins those four states, it's over. And he's also up in Virginia, by the way. All right, let's go to, go to the next one for me. Eric Do Doherty tweet: Breaking Trump gains again, and Nate Silver. Nate Silver is not a right winger. Nate Silver is a leftist. An eight silver 2024 election forecast model, electoral college win chance, 56.7% Trump. There it is. That's the elect electoral college probability as we stand right now. Go to the next one for me. Here it is. Just breaking it down further. Chance of winning, 56.7% for Trump, 43%. What about all her momentum? Yeah. I thought she was the greatest thing in the world. Swing state, swing state chance of winning. Pennsylvania, Trump, 57.43%. Georgia 6436. Ouchy. Arizona 6733. <laughs> North Carolina 7030. Wow. Nevada 5743. That's not that's not that's not polls as far as voters. That's chance of winning. Just yeah. everybody knows. Michigan, he only has Kamala Harris chance of winning by 2%. Wisconsin, 5%. No, 6%. There you go. And then poly market goes down from you know from the bottom of that one. So there you go. That, I, t I told you, don't want to tear you down too far. Polls are great. Polls don't mean anything. We still need to go, all go out the boat and bring people with us. But this is great. And she should she should be way ahead of Trump until mid-September yeah. because of the DNC. <laughs> no, she got no DNC bounce. <laughs> I predicted it on this, on this podcast that the DNC would cause a Trump bounce. Mm -hmm. And it has.